Film photography is more popular than it has been in years, probably since digital was invented. And Mr. Cad here is a mecca for film photographers. It's probably a cross between a camera shop and a museum. They have everything here. So we have brought four film shooting photographers to Mr. Cad. They're each going to choose a camera that they've not used before. And we're going to take those cameras away. We're going to shoot with them and we're going to see how they get on with them. So let's go inside and take a look. I'm guessing that the film is 200. It doesn't really matter. Oh, and now the light's back. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jumi Papula. I usually shoot on a Makina 67 um, or a Canon F1, but also I don't have it with me, um, a Fuji STX2. She's my baby. Um, and today I'm gonna be shooting on, I'm so excited to be really, really honest with you guys, because I didn't think it was gonna happen. Pentax 67. Hi, I'm Jess, I'm a photographer, and when I shoot film, my usual cameras of choice are the Pentax K1000 and the Louvetel 2, a twin reflex medium format camera. And today I'm going to be using the Mamiya RZ67 camera. Hi guys, uh, my name is Alex Bridge. Uh, I shoot a lot of film usually in the street. I'm not usually here in the studio, but today uh, I have some of my cameras with me. Uh, this is the, uh, the Fuji GS 645S, uh, 645 medium format, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then I have a Nikon F4 with a 15 mil lens today. That's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, and then here we have a, a TLR, a Rolleiflex 3.5, sorry, not the 2.8, uh, 3.5 sharper. <laughs> and then we have the Nikon F2, the standard, the beast. Uh, and then I'm trying something new. Uh, this Russian Horizont uh, panoramic camera, sort of like the Wide Lux. Um, let, me, let, me, let me do this, wind it on, then check this out, check this out. Pretty cool. Okay, uh, and that's what I, I'm using today. a film photographer and I usually shoot with the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 and today I'm filming with the Canon EOS 500. So guys, how did you find the day? I think it was a mixed bag. It was a lot of fun, but yeah. um, there were a lot of interesting surprises and challenges that, uh, that happened. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because we've all shot film before, we didn't mm. really expect to go in with many problems. Um, yeah. The, the I think arrogance a lot, of it all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think a lot came up that we didn't expect, mm. and that might have been part of the fun of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we had so many cameras, right? Yeah. Uh, oh I mean, gosh. yeah, going into Mr. Cad is like a candy store. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and we had a large variety of different kinds of cameras and cameras that we hadn't used before and mm. hadn't been uh, like tested and, you know. And those were so. like lots of factors that we definitely need. I think if we weren't so excited about shooting these different cameras, we would have like thought of 
and taking our time being like, actually, you know, I maybe should have like gone on YouTube or something. Um, but I think it was nice because it made us, well, made me feel like I was a beginner again, you know, made me take my hands off um, and just kind of like have to go back to basics in a way that I hadn't in a while. Right. And, like, and since then, I've kind of like, I'm not taking that approach. Let me not, let me not pretend. Yeah. But it definitely has like made me go like slow myself down a lot more. Yeah. Um, because I, like I, was, I remember trying to work, I had the Pentax 6, 7, and I was so stoked, but it was different focal length that I, than, I had, than I had thought I would be using. And it's weird how when you're shooting particular, when you use a certain focal lengths, your, your mind's eye and like vision mm. is like kind of like cropped. So having that, I didn't know how to work and it just made it really interesting and challenged me. I, I, like I really felt like I didn't know nothing. Like we really didn't know nothing, but it was fun still. Yeah, yeah, just on the beginners thing, like I was using the Mamiya RZ67 <laughs> and that was a whole different like setup to what I'm used mm. to, like the 35 mil SLRs. Yeah. You know, you had to take the whole back off to put the film on and you know, the, the slide, the the black, slide yeah. screen um, to take out and put back in and remembering all of those different things. And then <laughs> actually trying to load the camera proved a bit difficult, even for some yeah. of us that <laughs> Mm -hmm. Jimmy, <laughs> who have used that, them? That might have used them before, and oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that, um, was, that was humbling. Yeah, that was humbling. That definitely. was yeah. definitely something that I would do next time is to take yeah. the time to actually learn the camera before even yeah. attempting <laughs> to use it. Um, but I think my very first photo, if you get it up on on here, was a massive oh. multiple exposure, <laughs> like of probably about twenty photos yeah. Oh, yeah but it's um, like but it's given like that abstract kind of oh yeah, yeah. Not, layered i don't mind it mm. i didn't expect it i thought it was going to be completely black or completely white and just completely you know but it has it's like managed, no shape whatsoever yeah it, it has like, a, like get, a flower or something yeah mm -hmm. it has managed to get some details you can see a bit of her hair yeah the stool it's a shame you can't see her face much but oh you can see I mean, her lips. Can. Can really it's like a veil them. almost yeah. yeah i think a cellophane what's it called mm, um yeah, that yeah, yeah. Acetate. Yeah. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> that or acetate, creative. yeah. So I actually don't mind that. But that was just the picture you didn't expect. That was expect. completely by accident. I did not expect it. But um, it's a ta at least it's also now like taught you a technique yeah. that you may not necessarily have ever thought yeah. to try because you're like, actually, okay, cool. I can get some movement. I can get, you know, a variety of mixture of shapes mm. um, and get something that's a bit obscure and then still have like a standalone yeah. portrait next to it. Yeah. And so if I, were, if I were to use the camera again, I probably would try leave that. it on that and do it purposefully with with intention, you know, <laughs> with intention, <laughs> and trying to get some kind of detail. And yeah, but this is this is quite nice. This is one of my Ooh. other photos which actually came oh. out quite good. I remember when I saw this, I thought, ah, oh. bang. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I really like this. What do you and like about it? I think, well, I managed to get quite a bit of focus on her okay. face. Yeah, yeah. Te technically, you know, uh, spot so, on. Yeah. yeah. Well and exposed. just the light, yeah, the lighting on her face. But then you've um, also got like slight, you know, like even though it's like super focused here, yeah, some just of the, on her shoulders, it starts, we start to lose the focus, but it's yeah. nice. Yeah. It's that dreamy kind of yeah. look into me, like come into my world. Yeah, there's it's a bit of depth gorgeous. there to it. I mean, if I were to do anything to it, I'd probably crop it in yeah. a little bit more Center so it didn't have it. too much of this Wasn't white so space wide. either side. Um, it's really well, like, but considering really well exposed. Out of all of us, I'm probably the least experienced with studio portraits or portraits in general. So well, it was kind of happy. my or second similar. time in the studio as well. Okay. So, so similar anyone, yeah. sort of, yeah. 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 So pretty happy with that. And that's my third. Ooh. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh. Nice perspective. Guys. I know she's not in focus here on the face, but I think this is one of the photos where I was like kind of lying on the floor. Yeah, trying to get so under. Trying to down. like experiment with all the different types of poses mm. and my mm. angle trying to get an just, angle yeah which was quite hard with that camera because it's quite big <laughs> yeah and clunky to yeah. use and you have to kind of like move it around yeah. you have to like you know like we're used to cameras here and obviously mm. medium yeah. format requires you're looking you to down. look down into the frame a lot yeah but then we get so stuck doing that that you don't actually really like 
um, I think I, I was doing a sh random like photo walk and we're looking at textures um, outside mm. and there was a shrub that was like sticking out of a brickwork but it was up high and I was like trying to like figure out how to get it and one guy was like dude just lift it up and look into it like this and I was like oh my god oh, and sense. you know and that's the kind yeah. like that's doing like that's the only way that you learn yeah. oh I can use this yeah. Beasty, boxy, you know, mm. camera in yeah. ways that um, to get perspective. So spend the whole time in the studio, just going face on, it, not even moving around. You know. Um, how did you find? Since you were saying it's like your first time in the studio, how did you find like working for model, directing the model, um, having that kind of you know conversation with the model to to communicate what yeah. you wanted to visually? At first, it was I almost had to warm up to it and get used to the fact I had to talk to her, not yeah. just take photos <laughs> yeah. of her and then move on. Yeah. Um, but I think the more the more I did it and the more I got used to it and got over that kind of hurdle and that barrier of like, oh, uh, <laughs> you know, it was a lot easier and, yeah. and you know, warmed up and I was directing her to dance to the music mm. and like use the movement and find the shots around that as well. Yeah, mm. yeah. I took a few behind the scenes shots as well because I, I think yeah, that's yeah. always nice. And I was quite impressed by Jumi's um, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> interaction with Monica because mm. you just went in there and you seemed to have quite a bit of experience and you taught me a few things and mm. I really appreciate that. Oh, dude. Um, so, oh. <laughs> yeah, it was nice um, okay. to learn from each other. So, thank you. Oops, okay. It was nice. <clears throat> <Yeah. laughs> Moving on quickly. Yeah. I, think, I don't I know think... how to receive that well. Oh, even you, even with you. all the challenges, I think we did learn from each other in some way. Definitely. Whether it's like direct, like, how do I do this? Yeah. Or, or how just, do I not do this? Yeah. <laughs> or just like, kind of, yeah, literally. Don't do it this way. Or just kind of following by example, like mm -hmm. looking at different ideas and how you're positioning yourself and with the, yeah. the model and definitely yeah. would you go back into the studio do you feel like more comfortable to go back I think in the I studio would, now yeah and try different lighting and yeah get a bit more creative with it good so before we entered the studio this was outside mr cad it's not embarrassing and at all this, <laughs> that's a gorgeous photo i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> this is jumi outside uh, mr cad uh, uh on my rolliflex um this was with gold I think yeah I think it was gold and yeah I just saw the light so saw, saw you standing there looking good Look and nice got home. this <laughs> and I think it's great it's it a is very, a nice picture yeah in focus balanced uh, it, yeah. it reminds me of the uh, sorry the documentary style um, just tell me a bit about your life and like <laughs> who's this yeah. person that I, I wanted to talk to on the street uh, they've got a story so, yeah, I want to know more about this person. Oh, no, do you, do you, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you? I like the, I, I love the focal length. I don't like pictures of myself, meh, but mm -hmm. um, this is a really nice picture. And I really also like the yellow, like un, unintentional coloring, um, yeah. color tones. Yeah. So, you know, like the yellow from the back of the car or whatever that is there in the corner, yellow in the lens of my glass the slight orange brickwork at the background yeah. and then like, you know, the pale yellow just above my head. And it's not yellow, it's just warm, mm -hmm. random warm tones that happen to be situated around, yeah. you know, and just, See them. you know, and that, that also kind of like, I feel like those- Warm. Th those are the things that we don't always see when we're shooting. Like when yeah. we're documenting something, we say, oh, we want this frame. Sometimes we don't know why exactly we want that frame until like, Later, 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 somebody else looks at it and they're like, oh, did you know you did this and this and this? Yeah. And did you know you did this and this and this? Yeah. And then when you think about it, there is like a science or like a math to how an image, you know, you know, a good image looks or whatever, regardless of the subject. So regardless yeah. of my mug. I mean, if, yeah. I, if I had to say anything, pick. I think <laughs> composition wise, you could have been higher in the frame, um, your could eyes on the thirds or more in the, or more centered. Yeah. But I mean, Rules are meant to it's be never, broken. Yeah, so it's okay. never perfect. <laughs> and imperfection. I think, yeah, so. I think it's good. I like it. So I may ask for one on the Roly Flex in the future and portrait. I think you asked me. Yeah. As well, yeah. and I didn't, and now See, I need uh, one. Uh, <laughs> I need one. <laughs> what happens? Um, and then. Uh, is that you? There is. Oh yes. Oh, that one. So, I love that. So this was. Um, 
of oh. happy accidents. Gorgeous. <laughs> this was um, black and white on my Nikon F2 shooting, no, no, my Nikon F4, four. actually, mm -hmm. shooting the 15 mil right. um, wide. And I obviously got my so exposure <laughs> wrong. I mean, perfectly um, right. No, I obviously got it wrong. <laughs> the whole roll was way too, too dark. But with I think it really works. So this is what but I'm with saying, this image, yeah. it works because it's got this kind of surrealist abstract yeah. um, composition. But you can still recognize her. Yeah, the highlights um, are like the highlights are in the places you'd you'd want them in that kind of like dark composition to yeah. be. Like even 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 this, it's it's like some weird kind of honeycomb yeah. Yeah. <laughs> background. It's just a weird image. It's a surrealist image. And I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that actually could work. And I've made it portrait. I prefer mm -hmm. it portrait, even though I think you'd look at it properly. Oh, it's not going to do that, is it? It's not. But it's landscape. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was one. That's a happy accident. There you go. <laughs> really <laughs> like it. Like, that's really one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah and I think this too. was at the very end where we had like, we had to go, we've got five minutes left, and I just went, pat, 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 pat. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. No, is I this really quite like different to your style generally as a photographer? Like as a portrait photographer, is it different to your style? Or? So my whole thing is that, I mean, my handle is disorganized film, and that's not because I'm <laughs> hey. unorganized, it's because I don't have any, I don't give myself any labels, I just Excellent. do what I, what comes out I just the shoot whatever yeah. is fun. Mm. So. Yeah, because I get messages all, messages all the time. Like, what type of photographer are you? When I, when I start organizing my negatives <laughs> and sleeves, and people are like, you can't call yourself disorganized film anymore because you're organizing your film. Like, <laughs> Dude, I can call myself what I like. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, uh, striking. The, that just, the image has so much story, yeah. so much story, so much story. And I think, I, like, I adore it so much. Yeah. The more I look at it, I'm like, Ah. And I mean, looking at it closer on here, you can see the angles that's yes. really pointing out. So it's like screaming, it's screaming at her. Uh -huh, yeah. oh. And then she's covering herself. So this could almost be like a speaker and, Dude. Mm. you know. I wish I shot this. Like that's, that's, you know, like when you get that tog, yeah. that tog tingle jealous thing <laughs> when you're like, mm, yeah. Definitely it, just goes, it just goes to show that, you know, mm -hmm. It doesn't always have to be technically accurate exactly. you know, mm. to be a good photo. Exactly. And then oh, speaking of nice. the complete opposite, yeah. I took this one in the studio as well, which um, which I really like as well, just because technically everything, you know, is correct. I've got her in the center. She's in focus. The colors are nice. I mean, the pose I can't remember what well. film this was. That would be gold as well. I, I, I think, think it was. No, I used gold and portrait. I think. Oh, you still oh, had a um, yeah. so what, four. Portra four. 160, I think. Was that the packet that remember. we bought? Let's just say, yeah, it's a, it was film. It was film, and it, it was, was film. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, and I loved her pose as well. She's declaring mm. something. Mm. Yeah. It's very, um, mm. it's very relevant to where we are now, isn't it? It's quite theatrical. It's a theatrical yeah. pose. Um, not yeah, to be I love the to colour be. contrast between her hair and the scarf that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's brought oh, yeah. out like around as well. Yeah, and even just the darkness underneath her sh underneath her arm mm. is like you know draws your attention back upwards, like follow mm. her up. Yeah, almost like she's coming out of the dark. She's coming out of the space. You know, like I love a good story in a picture. Sorry, even if it's not even if it's not there. Mm. The you know. contrast, though, between those two photos, like the story just follows that, on. Yeah. She's this is why I'm just organized from, from all of that to, <laughs> That's <laughs> to a rise point. up. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, and then I think those are the, the, the main three that I, I wanted to talk about. I wanted to share. Um, I want to see more of these. Yeah, that's You've got them yeah. hidden. I printed the whole set. Um, I've just got a couple more that I like. Um, I think with these two, um, she had this red dress going on, and uh, I'm not happy with them. You're not happy okay. with them? No. Why are you not happy with them? I mean, of course, they're not in focus. Um, I like that. I, I think we just tried to <laughs> set this up too much. I thought about it too much. I got in my head a bit, and I was so sure See that, one? Yeah. that I knew what I was doing. Um, mm. So I took a few frames, but... 
yeah. doesn't even if it was in focus um i feel like it just it might not be saying enough it might not it's be not saying you know, anything. close enough yeah yeah i vehemently disagree i think that this one granted yeah okay it's not in focus but even if it it's i think it's still like a nice composition i like the fact that it's slightly out of focus the colors I'm, are great yeah it's still vivid in it's still vivid it's still it you know it's almost like you know you're it's like you know that kind of like dreamy yeah. lulled space that that person's in that state um and i like i've not learned technically so more often than not like sometimes if something hasn't come out how i wanted it and that's i think how you envisioned it like how it was in your mind and how you saw it in the time is, is what your is what <laughs> yeah. your expectation was but that's the beauty of film like you know we sometimes especially when we're using new kit we'll have this you know imagined um or even just that that scene in front of us mm. and sometimes yeah, the won't expectation. be and the expectation mm. kind of like takes away from like the yeah. from what it's actually going to be because what it has become is Granted, not pin focus, but that's sweet, bro. Yeah. Like, it's, it's one of those images where if you squint your eyes even more, you see the blocks of color and yeah. they work really well. Like the red up here. Stop squinting. <laughs> <with that. laughs> so it's, just like, it's actually like if it was more out of focus as well, yeah. like it might actually be better. But because you're in this in between of like it's almost in focus, okay. that is what mm. I think. You know. Thank you for reaching for comments. I wasn't. I'm, being no. some, um, I'm too. I'm not put, I'm too those, polite to lie. I'm, it's one of those I mean where it. you're just really disappointed. You're hard it's on yourself. Yeah. Um, I take I take scans that come back very seriously, but I can learn from it. Maybe no, I'm, get I'm exactly to, the same. Yeah. I mean, I ruined two roles. Oh, that yeah, were yeah, you really. I mean, like out of focus. So. Yeah, and then. I didn't want Sorry. to. <laughs> Missed it up in there, was it? Yeah. Was I'm that. only showing the good ones. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's part of the process, though, but 100%. I think these, for me, look kind of fashion editorially without being so obvious and obvious, you know, in the fact that it's, like, sharp and yeah. you know, okay. in like your that. face, but it's, like, the shapes and of the colours mm. that make these really good for me. Right. Just saying, you yeah. know, sometimes... But again, yeah, you can learn from it. Um, oh, 100%. Yeah. Thank you. Every, even a good photo you can learn from and think, well, yeah, I like that about it and yeah. use that again. Yeah. Exactly. I think yeah. you guys have got to show some of yours now. Oh, okay more then. Yours. So I think I was using the Pentax 6-7 um, and the Canon F1, which is like my, that's the camera that I use usually, but the Pentax, I was stoked to use and then found that I wasn't going to get the focal length that I wanted or that I'd hoped because it just wasn't available. Um, so this is like the picture that I took on it. I was going, when I was directing, I was just telling her to kind of like, you know, I wanted her to be almost like prayerful or like taking a moment of rest and just, yeah. you know, her hair it's coming through. It's quite biblical. Yeah, that's kind of what I wasn't, I was going for, but at the same time, not as specific, but definitely, yeah. I just wish it wasn't so underexposed. I think, because it's, yeah. it's still visible. Like in post, I'm going to edit the heck out of this to, yeah. you know, bring clarity this and stuff like that. This is where you'd want to use flash. Yeah, yeah, I'd want to use flash. Mm. Or even, if I'm honest with you, I think, I don't even think it's the, flash or the issue I think it was more so my light metering was off right I just had it on the wrong um, f-stop I feel like if I'd gone up gone down gone down an f-stop um, I would have got like a better well I want more well exposed image for me the subtlety is lovely because the one word it provokes is feeling mm. so okay I, I think it's great as it is I'll take that thank you yeah thank you um yeah, I mean, yeah, there's lots of things I would change, but I think I agree with you as well in terms of just the overall colouring of the image mm. adds to it. Um, this yeah. was taken on the Canon F1. This is the image that I'm, a, I'm disappointed in. I really, really, really liked it in the frame and what I was going for, because I had to get under her, get the, like, the focus on the, on the bracelet, because yeah. one of the bracelets said, like, Tree of Life, yeah. And then she had like some like, you know, her necklace was coming through and had like, she has like, you know, some biblical, uh, spiritual kind of like, I, I, I think you nailed it here. Yeah. I just wish this was higher. What do you mean? Oh, I the wish image. the hand was, a, yeah. was slightly higher. Yeah. But even, and, but even again, I also was thinking, you know, if she was just slightly over, but I, I found that I wasn't used to sharing space. And so I had to get out of my head in yeah. order to stay in. Yes. 
focus with the, you know the image and in, mm -hmm. in the scene. Um, was that because was I was one? I was behind you I, I, shooting away as well? I think it was just a myriad <laughs> of things. No, I'll be honest. I think it was just a myriad of things. Like you know, shooting with other photographers is one thing that I'm not used to doing. Right. Um, but outside of that, just like it was a new can. Like obviously I was using my Canon and this can't. But just even swapping between a camera I'm, I'm, I'm confident with to, from a camera I'm not so confident with, mm. I felt like I got over the uncertainty into the Canon, if that makes sense. Yeah. But I would still use this image. Let's, like, let's just make it clear. I'll still mm. use it. Um, just it could, it could be better. Um, this yes. one I really like. It's one of my favorites from the shoot. This was also shot on the Canon F1 mm -hmm. using a 24 mil as well. As, and I think we, this one was in, this was Kodak Gold as well. Love me. I, I just, I think this is at the end. Yeah, this and is I think right this at is, the end as we were going out the door. This is my <laughs> favorite like, like, for sure of yeah, the whole thing from you. what I've seen. Thank uh, you. I, I love I, yeah, I mean, those glasses, wow. <sighs> and she Them was being so the easy. brightest point in the image yeah. and highlighting her eyes. And then even the background the same, is, is a similar color palette to her, her hair and, and her jacket. jacket. Yeah. Everything just hits. Thank it's great. You. I even like the green tones in her ring, in her hair. And then yeah. even though it's not, it wasn't green, but as it's been, the image has been produced, it's kind of like, it looks like there's like a green vignette as opposed to uh, the normal actual color of the thingy. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I guess use, this is the thing with using the camera you're confident with means that you can run and gun it and be really quick mm -hmm. um, and get somebody in a space and not have to think too much about all the mechanics of the part because it's like, you know, it's a second limb. Yeah. But then it did feel really, as much as I was just saying, you know, it was, I brought over the uncertainty of using the Pentax into the last frame when I was using the con um, Canon. When I got to this point, I kind of just stopped out in myself a bit more, mm. you know, and just was like, okay, this is the frame I want to capture. Let's see what we can get and expose it. So yeah, um, I learned a lot though. So much from our shoot, mm. so much, yeah. so, so much. And it was just really, it was really interesting working with each other, yeah. working with the tools that we had, working uh, with tools we've never touched before. Um, and then that just brainstorming and troubleshooting. And I think it just goes back to the whole point of like being in, being photographers. Yes, I always say this, there's an eye in, in photographer, but it's I, well, there's not an eye in photographer, but we are individuals, <laughs> but there's also an eye in community, like, you know, yeah. and like photographers are often like solo agents, but like, you know, having you guys on set and hearing some of the things you were saying changed my perspective of a few things. So it was cool. Nice. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, thanks Monica. Yeah, yeah thank you very she much. was great. She was, she was, she was great. Yeah. Really cool, but yeah, yeah. Mm, was it really? Great okay. shoot all round. Yeah. Nice one. So what did you think of our photos? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Analog Adventures. <laughs>